Thank you, Sarah. You know, last year at this time, we were dealing with not only the pending seasonal flu, but the H1N1 flu, which also became a worldwide pandemic. Now, with that backdrop, we thought it'd be a good idea to come by and speak with Community Health Director Sue Lynn Ledford and get an update on the county's overall health situation. I'm here with Sue Lynn Ledford, Community Health Director. So then I want to start with a broad question. There was a report that was released back in February uh, that ranked overall health in every county in the United States. And within North Carolina, Wake County was number one in overall health. I want to ask you about that report and to kind of give us an update on the overall health here in Wake County, if you could. The health outcomes were a very interesting study. Of course, as you said, it was a national ranking that was done out of the University of Wisconsin in collaboration with several different agencies across the country. Uh, we were very pleased to find that Wake County ranked number one. Of course, that is based on the health outcomes that we see in our community. Those outcomes are based on a lot of different factors. It has to do with um, health behaviors. It is also a ranking that factors in such things as access to health care and the facilities that we have in the area. We have a lot of good facilities in the area as far as for medical care. Of course, the social economic factors also play a huge role in that. And as you know, we have a very educated population base here and our economic situation is better than most of the state. Those were big factors in this equation. But overall, those all are built upon our policies and our programs that we have, and we are extremely blessed in those areas here in this county. H1N1. Now, at this point last year, it was a totally different situation. Um, and as we do this taping today, the uh, WHO actually reported that it's no longer a pandemic. Now, if you could let me know, let us know what that means, the fact that it's no longer a pandemic. And so what does it mean for Wake County residents going forward? WHO, the World Health Organization, also has just released that information for us today. Yeah. And um, the uh, findings are that we are no longer considered pandemic. What that means is we are no longer classified at a level six, which is a full scale pandemic. That does not mean that we no longer have H1N1. It's still out there, and it is still uh, at pretty much as though it's a normal seasonal flu kind of situation. Overall, we've seen a decline. The whole organization has seen a decline from the World Health Organization status. It's gone down, and we're glad to see that it has. We're glad to know that it's no longer considered a pandemic. So when residents come to get their shots this year, well, they need two shots, one for seasonal, one for H1N1? This year's vaccine will be one vaccine. You will not have to receive an H1N1 vaccine and a seasonal flu. Now you mentioned seasonal flu. Of course seasonal flu has not occurred yet and kids are beginning to go back to school. We're in September now. So what kind of things I guess can parents be doing with their children in advance of getting the flu shot to keep them healthy? Well, of course, the good health habits are always the same, irregardless of what time, it is, time of the year it is. We have uh, recommendations that we constantly try to promote, good hand washing, uh, good health habits as far as, you know, covering coughs and, and getting plenty of rest, plenty of fluids, those types of things. And with children going back to school frequently, they allow themselves to not get the amount of rest that they normally would. It's getting back into that routine that they need to do. Overall, it is just good basic uh, health hygiene. And last year, we had a partnership with the schools where, in lot, where we went into schools and set up flu clinics. Is that going to be the same this year? Of course, we're going to want to work with the school system again because that's where our population of, of children would be located. This year we plan to offer seasonal flu clinics not only in our clinics that are here at Sunnybrook but also in various regional locations around the county. So another concern is this time of year is immunizations. You want to speak right. on that as well. Right. I just want to remind everyone about the fact that we are trying to get our sixth graders particularly in right now. Two years ago it became a requirement for the children and we have 
really concentrated on trying to make sure that there is no one that is going to be excluded from school because they do not have the proper mm -hmm. vaccines. Well, that's very good information, Sue Lynn. It's always good to have you on. Yeah, thank you. And of course, you can always get more information about health-related issues on wakeof.com slash human services. Back to you, Sarah.